In this video, I'm going to talk a bit more about the string data types that we get. So we have four that we use. It's char, varchar, inchar, and invarchar. Here you can see char and varchar only use one byte per character, while inchar and invarchar uses two. We use char and varchar for anything that's close to the English alphabet. So you can have numbers like 1, 2, 3, and 4, and you can have the basic ABC alphabet, and some variants like an A or an E with the stripe or dots on. You cannot, however, have something like the Greek alphabet, which is why we have N char and N bar char. So let's look at an example. We'll say we want a char, and we'll allow 20 characters, and we'll just give it a name, Jake. Now to see what the length of this is, so how many characters I used, I can use LEN for length, and then just say what length I want. And to see how much data it uses to store, we can say data length. And again, say I wanted to measure the string char that I made and just as data. So here you can see with char, even though I only have four letters, it's storing it in 20 bytes. That's because with char, it uses this amount no matter what. So if I have more than 20 letters, it will still only give back 20 letters and save it in 20 bytes. Whereas with varchar, it only uses the data needed to store the letters that are inserted. So we can see I inserted four letters and it's using four bytes. Now with invarchar, we can see it uses double the amount. But I can insert a strange letter like that. Now you see it's returning a question mark instead of that letter. This is because with char and invarchar, you have to put a capital letter in before. Otherwise, it simply returns it as a char or varchar. And with the N here, we can see it returns that letter to us. With N char, you see it uses double the amount that it char did. But if I only had a char, I would get a question mark instead of any strange letters that I use. And that is the basics of string data types. Look for the exercises down below. Our sponsors, Help, My Database is Slow.com, specializes in making slow databases run faster. Contact them, they may be able to help.